Hey guys, it's Victor and Marisol and welcome back to, to Book Bookverse. Verse. So this video is another Top 5 Wednesday and the first topic for this November month is your Top 5 Favorite Red Covers. So we're wearing red in case you yeah. can't tell. Gotta represent the red covers this week. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna show you our Top 5 Red Covers. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start off this week with number five, Fight Club. I like this cover because it's, it's got the big fist coming at you, first off. And then it's also, it's got, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but it's got like these zigzag lines that kind of kind of throw you off a bit. And so, I don't know, I liked it. It gives, gives me an odd sense. So, that's my number five. And then my number five this month is Spellbound by Kelly Armstrong. And this is the 12th book in the Other World series, which the first one is Bitten. You've probably heard me talk a lot about that you guys are tired of it <laughs> but yeah this is the 12th book in the 13 book series plus a couple of side stories and it's number five because I'm not a huge fan of people just random good looking women on the cover I see no point but I do like the sunset colors in the background so that's why it's number five this week all right my number four is Dr. Sleep by Stephen King I really like this one it's got like this it's got this face in the for or in the background, and then it's kind of like, I don't know, like it gives you like this obvious feeling. Yeah, a little creepy-ish, and with the smoke writing out the name of the book and the author, I think it gives a great vibe for what's supposed to be a, a scary book. So we'll see. I haven't read it yet. Mm -hmm. It's a sequel, right? Yeah, it's actually the sequel to The Shining. So I don't know if anybody knew that. I didn't know that when I bought it. I figured it out afterwards. <laughs> Which is why you haven't read it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then coming in at number four for me this month is what it doesn't really look red, does it? But this is a sequel to Looking Glass Wars. I, you guys saw this in our book haul. It's called Seeing Red. The reason why I picked it is yeah, you can't really tell. But once you take off the sleeve, <laughs> these awesome covers, you do see a little bit more red. Yes, it's not the whole cover, but I really love it. You know the evil red queen. If you guys could. Check that out. It's all in red. And then here down at the bottom, she has the red roses, but they have nasty little little teeth. Hope you guys can pick that up. But yeah, that's why I like it. It's just creepy and fun. Even though I said I don't like women. Just yeah, randomly well, put. But you know, she's a red she's, queen. It, yeah. it has to do with Wonderland. It I mean, makes sense. That's not just a random person. Yeah, that. it's like, yeah. All right, coming in and my number three is one that you probably just saw in my book haul is Dante's The Divine Comedy. I mean, it's it's got this really nice like etching of like I guess what you would consider the underworld because it has to do deal with all that. And so the whole thing is pretty red and it's got some cool designs along the way. So it looks really cool. Okay, and my number three this week is uh, Ruby Red. I just really like it. I like how it has the picture in the front. I don't know if you guys could tell, it's probably a different edition from the ones you've seen, but they all match, so I'm glad with it. Um, and then just the how it just says the name, all the designs on the side, and the watch, you know, the whole thing. And then I love how when you take off the spine, it's still just red, and then it has the name. So I think it's really gorgeous. So it's red all around, so I had to make this video. <laughs> all right, my number two is a graphic novel it's this one right here superman for tomorrow now doesn't that just look awesome i mean it's got just red all over and and the superman's eyes are red and his symbol is red and it's very shiny. few yeah very few few blues in there but it just gives this menacing superman that you don't see often mm -hmm. so she show the back too on the back also right there no yellow this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then my number two video. 
piece. <laughs> this one is uh, why we broke up. I really like this. I had to get the hard cover instead of soft. And then just the simplicity of it. Just the red with the title and then the little teacup. But then I also love how... Oh, my book is scratched. No. I don't want that. <laughs> but on the inside, it's, it's not all red. But I love how it's just white. And then the red petals. I choose to think they're petals. You might think they're something else. But I, I see it as petals. And then they yeah, just stand out. I think they're petals out. too. They look so, like petals. So I love all the red with and without the sleeve on this book. So that's why I made number two. And then dun dun dun. And now for my number one for this week's top five is Final Crisis. I mean, it's a lot of black, but the rest of it's all red. And it's just the image that's on it. Superman, or spoiler alert, uh, <laughs> Superman cradling a bone Batman dead in his arms so woo -hoo, you Batman's know Batman's the next zombie <laughs> here I'm gonna zoom it in so you guys can tell a little bit there yeah so it's a really cool cover and the tone of red just makes it work better I think classic goes with the idea cryptic <laughs> all right guys so my number one is I have this book it's called Safique, or that's how I say it. How <laughs> you say it? Safique, Safique, uh, by Catherine Fisher. In case you don't know, this is the sequel to the first book she wrote, which is well, not the I don't think it's the first book ever she wrote, but her first book in the series, which is Incarceron. And I believe we showed that book once before already. We've shown uh, it. Maybe. Yeah, but maybe. this this is a sequel, and I just love how like the background, the red, and then like. The keyhole is all shiny, and the little lights in the background, and I really like that. And then when you open it up, I keep opening them all up. The the keyhole is still like I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but it's like etched in there. And then you know the golden shimmery title. So I just like it. Yeah, I really like those covers too. They yeah. they work so they're, nice. They're both really gorgeous. And then. Usually covers with keys or keyholes. What lies behind the door? <laughs> so that's it, you guys. Those are our top five red covers for this uh, top five Wednesday. And again, like always, it's you know a group that Lainey created, and we'll link that down below. Let us know what your top five red book covers are and what you think of our choices. Yeah. And thanks for watching, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.